This ain't Hollywood. This ain't no ranch. Come on. Always see you like these for a record, dear, but you'll, you'll kill some people. Holy shnikes. Them hoes are nothing but trespasses. Don't have no mercy on them hoes. Yeah, we're going to check on some roadkill. You know how to check that? Yeah, nice one. You stick your finger. Hi, guys. We're back in the well site. About to go back there where me and the old lady had pruned. It's my second hunt in here. It's the evening hunt. Might come back here in the morning. I'm going to see what happens. If I shoot a big one in here, I'll probably sleep late tomorrow. Y'all know me. It's cloudy. When I usually shoot the big ones in here, it's cold and the wind switching to the northwest. We had a little front and I remember these conditions. Overcast like this, front just coming through with the perfect wind northwest. Yeah, getting lucky big ugly rifle. Make sure it's always on safety. Check it twice. It only takes one mistake check it twice make sure your scope's always on three because when they come running if you stuck on six or nine you ain't gonna get them get the gun first if you have a camera then you get the camera this ain't hollywood this ain't no ranch come on drinking my water before i get there lightens the load one less thing to bring i like to use cough drops hall's black cherry sugar free that kind of keeps that tickle in your throat down I might pull the set tonight. I might leave it haunted tomorrow morning. We'll see. I'll see how I feel after the hunt. <laughs> the wind's coming out the east. That's not too good, but most of the big ones come from the east, so I never hunted it on this wind. It might be better. I had to come in slow. It's thick, full of cattails and marsh grass. Got something big in here. I don't know if it's a pig or a deer. sitting in what we call, Mitch calls it the crimson corn stand box. Oh my God, a nine point. Oh my gosh. Oh, what an awesome buck. Oh, he's got some knives. Oh, that's awesome. He can't lose in this stand. Other than a few small birds walking in here. It's pretty quiet. Coming into this pine thicket, about 10 foot pine trees all around. Good 300 acres right in front of me. It's just straight shot, about 200 yards long. Back this way, there's a four-wheeler trail coming in here and we'll walk in. That's a good 150 yards that way. We don't even watch that. What we're watching is there's a slough that would come through. A lot of water. And then it's a ridge, ridge top. These deer falling the edge of these this ridge top in between, walking through all this water, through these palm trees. They crossing in and out this thicket. It's all bedding area, if you ask me.
Always pick up your bull rope. Don't leave a dangle. Got enough smell in the wood. They got a lot of fresh sun. Damn her in the white oaks. Good old killing tree. going to the pipeline stand one year ago this morning i shot that big old buck chasing that doe we're gonna see if the luck continues today so i'm gonna walk my way back there i'm gonna drag a little drag rag of a uh, doe estrus last year they were chasing hard today so today's the magic day wish me luck all right guys it is freezing ice everywhere this morning that was a cold four wheeler ride. I need a windshield. It's 29 degrees. I feel like it's 15. My hands are going numb, so I get back with y'all. I like hunting pine trees like this. We see a lot of deer in these. You won't always see like these well record deer, but you'll, you'll kill some deer. I did early this morning, getting in here before I set up. I had uh, four hogs sitting in there before I set up and I finally got the camera set up. I have my gun set up, but... I saw that do when that big buck was last year. Look how tall the pine trees got. It's 7.05. Last year when I shot that big one with the ugly rack. Yeah, and me and Mr. Buck, I shoot him. It was 7-11, six more minutes. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Probably nothing but wishful thinking that the stores aligned again at the same time. I could always edit it and make up a story. Y'all wouldn't know, right? Before I set up, set my bag in here, set up my rifle in the window because uh, it's a tight little stand. I don't know what it is, it's probably 36 inches by 36 inches. A big man have a hard time getting in here, not a lot of elbow room. Matter of fact, to shoot out the front window, you pretty much put your elbow out the side window just to make some room. That's some footage of some hole, managed to make a shot on one of them. Go down there and check to see if I made a good hit on it. If not, buzzard food, I guess. Because we prefer deer meat. We out here for deer. Them hogs are nothing but trespasses. All the young people out there. Don't have no mercy on them hogs. Eliminate all of them. All right. I really look for any sign of that hog been in here. Any blood. In here. Walk around here. 
morning. It's day started. What's up on this hill? Right here. It's hard to see, but there's some trails in here. Yeah, Looks like something scratched out right here. <laughs> Problem is, there was four of them. I don't know which one it was. It might have been the one that turned around backwards. I'm mainly looking for blood. The tracks don't mean nothing. It just means that got animals in the area. Just looking for a spatter of blood or some hair. And I just so happened to shoot at the white one, so it'd be hard to find some white hair. Black hair is a lot easier. Piece of dead briar. Appears to be a kick out somewhere. Had it been showing where they're rooting in here. Good size track, that's one. So, the hog I was looking at. Well, didn't find no blood. Didn't find no animal. Could be. I just need to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Again. <laughs> back to my old cell. Hitting that paper. Can't hit animals. Double check. Make sure your gun's on. Take your time. Take your time. Not too fast like this. Oh, scares me. Let that trigger scare you. Tip of the day. Over there? Yeah, we're going to check on some roadkill. You know how to check that? You stick your finger in the <laughs> And if it smell like shit, it's still good. Watch that uh, ditch. Man, Patula got him above. We ain't got to tag him either. It roadkill. We got evidence right there. Boy, you shot a nice one. Oh, man. Is that his guts? Get the rips off. Oh. Yeah, I don't think he's good. Ah, oh, well. It was worth the shot. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah. He got a nice one. Well, the road teal wasn't fresh. We tried. Well, we made it back to the camp. I'm about to eat a piece of that eagle bass again. Give me that good luck. Pop to lie, you want a piece? I'm ready. Man, you're not gonna believe this. Remember the eagle I was talking about? <laughs> he brought me a fish. I'm going to fry this thing, man. Ain't that amazing? All right, guys. Got that eagle bass. Got that gift. Get from Jesus, boy. You nasty. Fell out the sky. I'm gonna eat that thing. You nasty. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's how we roll. We've been hunting 20 years together. 20 years, he finally got me. Got a good one. Big one. <laughs> Patula changed his mind. He's gonna see if it's real. He gonna make him an eagle bass sandwich. Yeah. There's a dope. She just spooked. Oh, what is that? Is that a buck? Oh, it's a buck. Shit. It's just shot at about 6.30. Another buck. And get down at nine. You help him drag that out. I'm not too far from him. I'm sitting in a tripod in the bottom. There's usually good bucks that run through here. I ain't seen quite any, 
anything yet. So it looks like it has some hogs on it further towards the thicket. Hopefully we get one more. Well, we got a nice buck, yo. Watch out now. I got one left to kill. And three does. They came out right here. She came out. I was playing with the camera. She went back in and he was a little further staring at her running back to my right. And it was facing me. And it was kind of looking in the thicket. And before he could leave, I threw one in his neck. Dropped him. I had to put another one. He kept moving, trying to get up. Son of a gun. He keeps coming back alive. I thought I hit him double lung on the second one, but we'll see. Go get this big butt. Stay tuned, y'all. Got the GoPro on. All the luck seems to be on Mitch's side right now. Little while we'll fix to go pick up his deer, load it up, skin that thing up, take a nap, come back and get some more of this. Some of y'all gonna be like, why you didn't get the shot on camera? Because I had no camera light. Why y'all think? Just like the other one. He came out at 10 yards. How me get down camera? Is he the grab the gun or grab the camera? Grab y'all gun. I'm not trying to get you too famous. I'm just trying to be real. That's why some other people, all they do is give advice, but you hardly ever see some of their kills on camera. Maybe they at night. I know a few that do that. Got it done, guys. There he is. At the tip of my finger. We did it. Second buck. I got one left for the season in Louisiana. That's how I roll. I got hold off for a big one. Crimson water looking like Kool Aid. Tropical punch. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, let me get in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, skull mount. Look, eight and a half points. Oh, you can get that thing mounted, bro. That's another $700, bro. Go ahead. Let's load him up, dude. Oh, he stinks. <clears throat> Hot, yeah, another buck. I showed him. <laughs> there you go. Okay. 